Hello, my name is Kai. I'm a computer science researcher doing my PhD at INRIA. My research topic is about light field reconstruction with omnidirectional camera. Today, I would like to share something cool and interesting about my research topic. You might not be very familiar with light field images. We are trying to capture the light ray in all the directions with a set of cameras or an array of micro lenses. Light field image allows you to browse the scene in 3D and you can see from different viewpoints. Unlike uh, normal 3D images, light field image capture the view dependent visual effect like a reflection. But there is still a gap from a set of image to light field image with 6 degrees of freedom. We need to convert discrete images to a continuous light field. There are many ways to achieve that goal. What I'm going to talk about today is a new popular way to represent a 3D scene, to synthesize continuous views from discrete images, which is called neural radiance field, also known as NERF. Neural network has become very popular these days, which have accomplished many challenging tasks like uh, image recognition, voice recognition, and uh, diagnosis of fault. You might be familiar with this. This is a typical neural network with fully connected layers. We put pixels of a 2D image into the neural network. After some calculation, the network predicts the content of the image. So can you imagine we can actually represent a 3D scene with a neural network? Of course we can. Assume we have a 3D object here. We decide a coordinate system as we like X, Y, Z, and we pick a point in the scene in 3D. We have the coordinate of it, and we decide on the view direction where we look at it. And uh, it is determined by theta and phi. Assume we have another neural network is trained with all the same information and we put all these coordinates, the view angle, theta phi, to the neural network, and we expect that the neural network will predict the color and opacity of this 3D point. Now we cast a ray through the scene and take several points and give them all to the network. It will predict the color information of all the points. By blending all the colors with their opacity according to the distance to the ray origin, we get the pixel color of our desired viewpoint. Now we move on. We try to trace back all the ray from the viewpoint towards the scene, like a camera. Similarly, we aggregate all the predicted color from all the 3D points and draw them all to a canvas. And we get a picture from this new viewpoint. Then we move the virtual camera as we want. We get a light field image. Okay, let's take a one step further. What if we have a camera that captures a panorama, like a fisheye camera? Can we reconstruct the whole room instead of a single object? Of course we can. Our team extended the nerve method for the fisheye images. Now let's make some fisheye images in this meeting room and try to train the neural network with all these fisheye images. Let's see what we got. This is a visualization of virtual camera moving in the scene and also estimated depth map of each frame. That's all for the video. Please check out the reference if you are interested. This video has been produced for the Plan Optima project as a part of the Science Slam.